It's incredibly irresponsible, it's immoral, and it's corrupt. And it's her fault. District Attorney David Prater lashing out after several black community leaders who support Judge Tammy Bass LeSure call for a civil rights investigation. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. Allegations of racism and intimidation are causing a firestorm inside and outside the Oklahoma County Courthouse. News 9's Adriana Vyshinsky joins us live with more on the controversy now. Adriana? Well, Kelly, the circumstances surrounding why Judge Tammy Basilisher stepped down from the high-profile Jerome Ursuline murder trial continues to be under seal. But that has not stopped the talk about what led to the scandal. Now some are speaking out and taking action on the judge's behalf, even though she has chosen to remain silent. We're here today to support our sister, Judge Bass LeSure. Several pastors, community leaders, and other concerned members of the Oklahoma City black community met at Fairview Baptist Church to show a united show of support. They, along with the Oklahoma NAACP, are calling for a civil rights investigation against District Attorney David Prater. We do know that the DA has used his power in the last three months to slander and to try to intimidate the only two African-American judges in Oklahoma County Courthouse. We need more African-American judges on the bench. We need more minority judges on the bench. And we need this DA office investigated. They also called out many of his decisions on the Jerome Ursland murder case and are demanding the Ursland trial be televised. Judge Lashore took the courageous step of allowing cameras in the courtroom to allow the public a rare seat in a public trial. District Attorney David Prater welcomes the investigation. It's unfortunate, like many in this community, that those who want to talk the loudest about this case know none of the evidence. Prater says he finds it odd and ironic that he is being accused of racism in the Ursland case when the victim he's representing, 16-year-old Antoine Parker, is black. I was being accused of pandering to the black community when I filed this charge. Now I'm a racist because I asked the judge to get off of it. This doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? We did some checking, and the NAACP is wrong. There are three African-American judges on the Oklahoma County bench. District Judge Tammy bass District Judge Kenneth C. Watson, and Special Judge Martha Oaks, who was just appointed to the Oklahoma County bench. As for the district attorney's investigation into Judge Tammy bass David Prater had strong words for those questioning his motives. It's incredibly unfortunate that this judge did this, and it affected this case. It's incredibly irresponsible, it's immoral, and it's corrupt. And it's her fault, her fault, no one else's, that we're in this situation right now. Now, Prater, again, would not comment on whether he has filed a judicial complaint against Judge Tammy Basslisher, but he did confirm Attorney Rick Rice notified his office about possible ethics violations and that he asked his client to wear a wire. Rice's client, 20-year-old Colton Alma, was Judge Lesher's personal trainer at her gym and says that two, the two of them had private conversations about his drug case outside of court. Prater also confirmed she provided the names of three attorneys she would recommend Recommend, one of which was part of Ursuline's defense team, and that was the reason he asked her to recuse herself from the case. Kelly? All right, Adriana, and the DA also tells us he is asking for the judge to recuse herself from all cases involving the three names on that list. Right now, District Judge Ray Elliott has been assigned to the Ursuline case, which has been rescheduled for December 6th. Judge Elliott has ruled the trial will not 